Hello everybody, it's Cody at Cody's Reading Time. I'm back again with another story out of the Japanese fairy book, and this one is called The Sagacious Monkey and the Boar. I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy my narrations, please subscribe. I upload new stories from different fairy tale books every single day, and there's always going to be something new to listen to. All right, let's get started in on this story. Here we go. Long, long ago, there lived in the province of Shinshin in Japan a traveling monkey man who earned his living by taking round a monkey and showing off the animal's tricks. One evening, the man came home in a very bad temper and told his wife to send for the butcher the next morning. The wife was very bewildered and asked her husband, Why do you wish for me to send for the butcher? It's no use talking to, or taking that monkey around any longer. He's too old and forgets his tricks. I beat him with my stick, all I know how, but he won't dance properly. I must now sell him to the butcher and make what money I can out of him. There's nothing else to be done. The woman felt very sorry for the poor little animal and pleaded for her husband to spare the monkey, but her pleading was all in vain. The man was determined to sell him to the butcher. Now the monkey was in the next room and overheard every word of the conversation. He soon understood he was to be killed, and he said to himself, Barbarous indeed is my master. Here I have served him faithfully for years, and instead of allowing me to end my days comfortably and in peace, he is going to let me be cut up by the butcher, and my poor lady is to be roasted and stewed and eaten. Woe is me! What am I to do? Ah! A bright thought has struck me. There is, I know, a wild bear sitting in the forest, a boar sitting in the forest near. I've often heard tell of his wisdom. Perhaps if I go to him and tell him the strait I'm in, he will, he will give me counsel. I will go and try. There was no time to lose. The monkey slipped out of the house and ran as quickly as he could to the forest to find the boar. The boar was at home, and the monkey began to tell uh, his tale of woe at once. Good Mr. Boar, I have heard of your excellent wisdom. I am in great trouble. You alone can help me. I have grown old in the service of my master, and because I cannot dance properly now, he intends to sell me to the butcher. What do you advise me to do? I know how clever you are. The boar was pleased at this flattery and determined to help the monkey. He thought for a moment, and then said, Hasn't your master a baby? Oh yes, said the monkey, he has one infant son. Doesn't it lie by the door in the morning when your mistress begins the work of the day? Well, I will come round early, and when I see my opportunity, I will seize the child and run off with it. What then, said the monkey? Why, the mother will be in a tremendous scare, and before your master and mistress know what to do, you must run after me and rescue the child and take it home safely to its parents, and you will see that when the butcher comes, they won't have the heart to tell you, uh, to sell you. The monkey thanked the boar many times and then went home. He did not sleep much that night, as you might imagine, for thinking of the morrow. His life depended on whether the boar's plan succeeded or not. He was the first up, waiting anxiously for what was to happen. It seemed to him a very long time before his master's wife began to move about and open the shutters to let the light in of the day. Then all happened as the boar had planned. The mother placed her child near the porch, as usual, while she tidied up the house and got her breakfast ready. The child was crooning happily in the morning sunlight, dabbing on the mats at the play of light and shadow. Suddenly there was a noise in the porch and a loud cry from the child. The mother ran out from the kitchen to the spot, only just in time to see the boar disappearing through the gate with her child in its clutch. She flung out her hands with a loud cry of despair and rushed into the inner room where her husband was still sleeping soundly. She, he sat up slowly and rubbed his eyes and crossly demanded what his wife was making all that noise about. But or by the time the man was alive to what had happened, and they both got outside the gate, the boar had got well away, but they saw the monkey running after the thief as hard as his legs could carry him. 
Both the man and wife were moved to admiration at the plucky conduct of the sagacious monkey, and the, their gratitude grew no bounds when the faithful monkey brought the child back safely into their arms. There, said the wife, this is the animal you want to kill. If the monkey hadn't been here, then we would have lost our child forever. You are right, wife, for once, said the man as he carried the child into the house. You may send the butcher back when he comes, and now give us all a good breakfast and the monkey too. When the butcher arrived, he was sent away with an order for some boar's meat for the evening dinner, and the monkey was petted and lived the rest of his days in peace. Nor did his master ever strike him again. And that is the end of that short fairy tale out of the Japanese fairy book. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you enjoy my narrations, please subscribe. I upload new stories every single day. There's always something to listen to on my channel, so I hope you stick around and listen to some stories. All right, enjoy. Bye-bye.